So today I am joined by Oblivion, the TCG player. And today we are going to be talking about the seven warlords versus the seven original members of the Akakuki. And I'm going to be starting off by talking about the Akakuki, uh, the, the warlords. Yeah. So the seven original members of the warlords, for those that don't know, are Crocodile, Bartholomew Mukuma, Don Quixote del Flamingo, Jinbei, Mihawk, or Hawkeye Mihawk, or Dracula Mihawk, Bo Hancock, and Gecko Moria. Now, the reason I think the Warlord, the Warlord are going to take this, or Bajiti Bukai, is that the Warlords have more and more powerful members. The Akaki are very strong, but they only have a couple, like, top-tier members, while the Warlords, each, each one of them is incredibly powerful and able to hold their own against other Warlords. Like, in the War of the Best, Crocodile and Doflamingo fought almost on equal footing for a little bit, even though Doflamingo is stronger. There aren't many members of the Akashi who can fight with evenly with Akashi, but power differences are large. Also, there are characters like Mihawk, who, even at their most casual, can cut icebergs, but they're like half the size of Marine Ford and half. And there's, there's a lot in Kuma. I mean, don't even get me started on how broken Kuma Delafruit is. If he touches you, it's pretty much game over. And oh, Zolfamingo is just... And Zolfamingo is just incredibly powerful. He, he's actually the only known member to have awakened his uh, Delafruit. But uh, why do you think the Koski would win? Uh, I think the Koski would win. Because there's kind of an array of different abilities that they could use. While the Warlords do have a lot of different abilities, the Akatsuki kind of has like a more upper hand on offensive abilities. Like you have people like Hidan and the Akatsuki who are basically immortal. Uh, also like Kakazu who are basically immortal. And if you even get into like a little skirmish with them and they draw blood from you, especially for Hidan, it's kind of done if he's able to draw his little circle and kill himself he kills you also um and there's not really a lot of abilities in the seven warlords that could counter something like that then there's there's people like itachi especially who have overpowered abilities and are basically broken um like his susano and his amaterasu and all that stuff. True, but Susano can be broken, and I firmly believe Mihawk could uh, could cut through with Susano. Did you think he could do that? Oh, I can, edit, I can, I can edit that out. Uh, what was your question? I said I think Mihawk could uh, cut through with Susano. Cut through the Susano? See, that's that's something that's questionable because. Uh, Itachi never had a full Susano, like his. That's the point, Susano. though. Tsunade was capable of punching hard, Madara Purpose Susano hard enough to crack it. This was Madara Purpose Susano. If Tsunade, who a lot of people, who a lot of people, I'm going to use Naruto fandom logic here. Sakura is stronger than Tsunade. We know this. So, and, and so that, that said something about they're not a feat there. But and considering the task sheet isn't even completed, I you mean, also have to think how how would he be able to like he have to touch? Yeah, no, Susano or, well, not like, really because Mihawk can it can create Jockwave because his yeah, wings are so quotes. powerful he can like. Remember, that's how he cut the iceberg in half at Marine Ford. He swung his, he swung his sword and created a shockwave. That's a great point. So And he did find this is Mihawk casually. We don't even know how strong the guy really is. But he can ca- you can casually cut an iceberg the size of the, of the Navy HQ in half with, like, one arm. I, I don't think it... The that going that far to say it, you can break something like uh, imperfect just on out. It's true, it's true. I think that's a pretty good counter to the Tachi Susano argument. Yeah. 
Um, the real problem is that Bo Amaterasu. Yeah, the real problem is Amaterasu. Um, I think probably Amaterasu could take out most of the members, or maybe even... Well, it really depends on if we're saying, can it be blocked with Arm in the Hockey? Ooh. I'd say, I'd say so. I would say so, but I, w I would say it wouldn't go out. Because it did not go out. So you could block it, but then you would have to continuously use Armin and Hockey. Yeah, the continue. So, hmm. Like, keep on protecting your skin from the fire with it. Hmm. Which is something I, I, I would beg to say oh, and you're, and, and any of the hockey users could do. It's true. A counter to that would be probably Sasori, I'd say, because if if they're playing like uh, you know, like kind of a, a team like based the way of fighting, then with by the way we know this would never actually happen. We know the yeah. war, we know the warlords especially, but. Uh, to an extent, Bikaki would not ever be able to fu fully work together because they don't like each other and they don't like listening to each other. I if it really happened, they'd probably just tell each other to screw off and they'd all just yeah, fight party, fighting amongst each other. There would probably be a Kaki fighting a Kaki, Warlord fighting Warlords. Like, this is a very unrealistic scenario. But yeah, it's like a team on team, you were saying. There'd probably be like some sort of help going on between the members. So, yeah. like, I feel as though like Sasori is a good counter to anything because with his 100 puppets, there's not really a lot of in between time of True. things that you can do with 100 puppets coming at you at one time. Uh, so, then again, I, let, let, let's mind you the stalker over there was E to see each puppet in pretty much one job. Yeah, so the like they're, gone. they're not powerful puppets. They're like cannon fodder. Like, yeah, they're it's the numbers fodder. that are dangerous. So considering they're... I actually think Hancock, considering she pretty much appears to be a big, big character, you could probably, using hockey and her, uh, Delafru to take out most of the puppets. Because she does have the ability to turn things to stone on impact. She did that against, uh, two pacifistas during the war. She hit them in the head and their head turned to stone. So you don't need to think she's beautiful for her to use her stone ability on you. Yeah. But I also think um, Conan would probably be able to take out a Boa Hancock just based on the fact that she's more of a ranged character. And, True. Um, Hancock does have to... ranged attack though. She has a pistol kit and slave arrow. Both are almost are pretty much insta kill be it they hit you and you turn to stone. But then Conan is also paper, so True, but we, I think we should just I think we should do the thing we did with Crocodile, it's kind of like the whole uh, you can't hit physically hit me thing to just be kinda of taken away. Alright. And Toby did manage to hit Conan. Like it, it's not like she's a logia where it makes her invincible. Toby managed to hurt her. Yeah. I mean it's Doable. Well, Conan is also fast too. She's pretty yeah. fast due to like the the wings and stuff. Yeah, so it'd she can fly. More of a, I, I guess, I'd say Conan would have the advantage because she'd yeah. be able to stay in the sky. Yeah, I I'll do it between Conan and Hancock. I would say, yeah, Conan Hancock would eventually be taken out by somebody like Conan. Just, yeah. just because of sheer the advantage of like being in the sky. Hancock is a melee based character. Definitely. So, there's also to take into account, though, uh, Jinbei. Jinbei. Uh, honestly, I don't think Jinbei would be too much of a threat. Um, well, if you look at during the war, but that, he blocked the blow from Akainu. Oh, true, true, true. I mean, Jinbei but... is just. Jinbei is incredibly powerful in and out of water. He's just at his best in water. In water. So, I think... It's kind of like, a, if you ever read DC comic, it's kind of like Aquaman. Aquaman is really <laughs> strong, but if you put him in, in water, he's like, 
you know, it's a completely different ball game of what he can do. Honestly, I think Kakazu would be able to take out Jimbe because it's kind of in the way the same thing as with uh, Sasori, except Kakazu's like clones is like other hearts are equally as powerful. Not would say equally as powerful, but they're each pretty powerful in their own kind of way, and they all control a different element basically. So if if they would all like if all his hearts coordinated especially with Kakazu at the middle of it I think they'd be able to probably take out Jinbei I mean I can't really think of a way for Jinbei to counter Kakazu though those two ended up fighting yeah Jinbei would probably lose that yeah. Jinbei would probably so let's just talk about the elephant out. in the room how are they gonna take out Bartholomew Kuma mind oh. you Barth mind you <laughs> I'm talking about beginning of theory Kuma but he still had a damn brain this is yeah. Kuma when he returned into a cyborg. So this Kuma can strategize. He can he can actually like you use willpower to get up if he's damaged. It isn't a Kuma that you can just take out like a robot. Hmm. Kuma is Kuma. Kuma really is the elephant in the room. Um. Just because he's so powerful. I mean, he's not the hawk level, but he is. He just, he probably the, he's not the most powerful warlord, but ability wise, he probably has some of the most broken abilities. To be honest, so he's, he's the only character in this that can fire a practical bomb. I don't. I don't think there's really a good member. I mean, that I have that Nagato character. maybe. Nagato probably could with like maybe a planetary devastation uh or like something along those lines with like a summoning um yeah. Yeah. but would that really work couldn't he just like push it away yeah with I, his... I, i'm more curious too what would what would stop what uh, would the almighty puss or shinra tensei i believe it is be able to stop uh earth this jock that's the real question <laughs> the earth this jock is incredibly deadly I think, I think, it probably could. Yeah, it probably opinion. could. I think if he actually tried, not one of the weak ones, obviously, but if he did like the cop, and it was like a weaker version of what he did not like to destroy the leaf. He probably could, and he'd just be blowing people away too. Uh, Kuma's a really OP character if you think about it in the context of this fight. Yeah, and also if he if he removes his gloves, he can send you anywhere in the world, and thus if you're obviously sent two billion miles away, you're practically dead. Yeah, out of the battle, yeah. or dead. Yeah, um, so he he can send you anywhere he wants with one touch, and he's incredibly fast. So all it takes is one little whack, and you're gone. So Kuma could probably take out. Kuma could probably handle Nagato. Kuma probably could. Uh, <laughs> and mind you, we're not, we're not. Mind you, Nagato did not have his this path to pain. If Nagato had his this path to pain, he could probably handle. He could probably easily handle a lot of this. Definitely. But you could. You can't even really catch him off with surprise. Naruto only really won that fight. Let's be honest. Partially, Beauty the main character. Um, Vadera. I'd say he's the safest bet to kind of taking out Kuma. If he just, <laughs> if he suicide bomb yeah. and like killed the both of them, then I think... With, with that, be honest, they thought it was a crazy son of a bitch and would totally do that. Yeah, that, that'd probably be the safest, not the safest way, of course, but that'd probably be the best way yeah. to kind of get rid of Kuma or like the best yeah. counter yeah. to Kuma. Yeah, we haven't talked about Morian yet, though. Oh, Moria is the Moria is another elephant in the room. I think Crocodile is also Moria and Crocodile are elephants of the room because they're not that powerful in the grand scheme of things, but if given time, they have really broken ability. And also Doflamingo. Yeah, Doflamingo, um, Doflamingo, Mihawk, Crocodile, and Moria are like elephants. Like, they're the ones, those are the characters that are, like, the strongest. They're the, are the top tier, really, in that, or at least in standing chance of taking out these members. 
But Moria, I don't think Moria would last long. Honestly, I'm not going to sit here and pointlessly defend the character. I feel like Moria would lose to most members of the Akashi, honestly. Um. Because Mid honestly, his biggest advantage was how do I say this? His biggest advantage was his army of zombies and or Junior. Moria, without preparation at the war, would kind of like. Here are the dead marines. I'll make them into zombies and have them fight for me. <laughs> that was all he could really did during the war. Like he didn't display. He never really displayed too many interesting Moria abilities. Like he can steal your shadow, but Naruto characters are these are very fast characters. I don't think they're just gonna stand there and let him steal their shadow. Yeah, I'd say in terms of like equal. In, in equal power, uh, Nagato and Moria have like similar abilities. Uh, Nagato just more Nagato, they're just way more broken. Yeah, Nagato's probably broken. Um, so like they, Moria has this shadow thing where he can uh, give shadows of living people to dead people, and if you're in the sunlight, then yeah, then they, that's another thing. It's like more. Moria Devil Fruit, it's, it's, so, it's a very situational fruit. Yeah. So I'm sorry, Major, Moria's not winning. Majoria has always, in my opinion, been winning. Like, this isn't even me being biased, this isn't me just being legitimate with you guys. Majoria, Majoria. Moria just not here. Moria just not here, Academia. Academia. Yeah. No. Moria has always been one of the weaker warlords, in my opinion. He just, he's, he's not impressive. I mean, his no, only, like, his biggest fate is the fact that he got screwed over by Kaido and didn't die. I mean, that's his biggest uh, thing. Definitely. Like, even in the War of the Best, he couldn't really yeah. do anything against they didn't, Crocodile. I think Doflamingo was ordered uh, to kill him. Yeah, I said Crocodile. Yeah, Crocodile, yeah. Um, uh, so, I think probably Nagato would be able to take out Mor Moria, yeah. Gecko Moria. Yeah. With with ease, yeah. yeah. But I mean, I feel like the, I feel like overall the world, the characters that are like in trouble for me at Koski are characters like they they Dara's in trouble. The Dator is definitely in trouble. I think if Dator the, ever, I'm just gonna bring, I'm just gonna bring up the elephant in the room and let the character I think Mihawk can take out pretty easily. All right, I'm just gonna bring that up now. I'm gonna have to eventually. Uh, he. So, uh, Sothery and Kakadu and Kodan are all screwed. Pretty much. If Mihawk hits them with one shockwave, they're gone. Especially Kodan. I mean, me, me, I'm sorry, Mihawk, if you tell me Mihawk can't cut through her paper, I will find you. <laughs> it's it's a little weird, because we, we have seen, like, his shockwaves... Are dodgeable. And Conan is pretty fast. Uh, actually, the only time it's shockwave, they're dodgeable. Yeah, but they're giant. But you actually like <laughs> the only time they were shot, they were ever avoided, was by Luffy. By Luffy. Who, by mind you, he even admitted, "Sorry, Akagami, I, uh, I'm going to have to take this boy out." He did not. He didn't even want to kill Luffy. Yeah, he didn't really he, he try. Opened, he, yeah, he he didn't try throughout the entire war. That would be hard just being like, "Well, I." I kind of was told I had to fight the Whitebeard Pirate, and then the re it would be really annoying if the Marines were on my ass. So, uh, Glass, I'll try to kill Straw Hat. Sorry, Red Hair. Like, it was a chore to him. Like, he wasn't, you no, know, Luffy was the only character who could ever do it. The only other character to actually stop an attack from Mihawk was, was Jozu, who, who used his diamond form to repel an attack from hitting Whitebeard. Yeah. Hmm. And even then, that's Diamond, and Diamond is definitely harder than paper. I think Hidan probably has the best chance against Mihawk. Uh, he does, Mihawk. but the thing is, the thing is, there, is there a win? Last time I checked, correct me, you probably know more than me, but doesn't Hidan need to perform a, a ritual to reattach his body part? Uh... I think so, and he has like, to. Isn't that how beat him? Like he like he like got he destroyed his body, and then he buried the his chopped up body in the ground. Yeah, he blew him up, and then he basically buried him yeah. under. So all Mihawk would need to do is do what he did with Buggy, 
just cut, just cut really fast and cut them into multiple <laughs> pieces. But there's also the thing where if if Hidan is standing in his circle, then he's basically a mortal in a sense. True, but the, but that doesn't mean he can't. But you really, I think it really comes down to the fact that uh, Mihawk had armament hockey. Oh, true. So Mihawk and I'm a firm believer that Mihawk could just cover. So let's say Mihawk wanted to cut off Hidan's arm, but he would afraid it would hurt his arm. All he needs to do is cover his arm in arm in hockey, and then cut Hidan's arm. Hmm. Because the arm would work? I would have... I mean, it, it doesn't... It, it, uh, the way it was animated, at least in the anime, was like, you cut it off, and like... It, 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 it was like... Be cut, it wouldn't fall off. It would be like an invisible blade would like cut it off, right? Ooh. But isn't that the way it was animated? I... I think so. It was, it was um, like, it would go, oh, but he, he done it weird, but he can clearly be, I would assume that's how it worked. I, it, I don't remember it being like, you cut something off and just falls off, like. It's, like it's, it's, it's really weird when you, when you talk about, when Hidon. we're talking about, uh, Mihawk. Cause we've never, just seen don't, him. we've never seen him do anything, but the thing that we have seen him do are so impressive. Yeah, he's definitely... Like, he cut an iceberg in half. He, 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 he nearly, he was able to push back a man that was made of diamonds. And he moved, and he's able to swing around his gigantic sword so fast you can barely see it. Which, that's how quickly he could slash somebody in half. I mean, it's very confusing. So yeah, I definitely think Mihawk yeah, He's a big contender. He could so, take out. So, why don't we just go over this? Who could Mihawk take out? I think definitely Konon. Definitely Konon. Definitely Konon. Um, Sothery? Uh... It, it really all comes down to if he can get to him, which shouldn't be hard for him. Yeah, I'd say so. He could probably slash the... Okay, I, I really feel like the thing with Sothery is... It, it, the thing with... The thing with a lot of these characters that makes it difficult is, it then be like, it then like, yeah, he can't be Sothery, but Sothery would be Sothery, and me how strong it her, we know that. Yeah. It's like, or like, you know, like, this character, like, Shikamaru would be heat on. We know Mihawk would murder Shikamaru. It's like, that, that can make it really annoying at times, but so, Zidara, so we know Kak, so, uh, Zothery and Kodan are done, me and Mihawk can handle them. This is really not Mihawk at this point. Uh, the thing about Datara, I wouldn't say, like, I don't think he'd really lose to anybody, because he's the kind of person that... Yeah, he probably, he, you know, you know what I think? I feel like he probably fight. you know what, you know what I think gonna happen? I feel like he'd probably be the one to take out Kuma. Kuma? And he did. Yeah, he, I think he'd probably he probably be the one to take Yeah, I think Akuma's like incredibly hard. I, I honestly, I, I, I've been thinking of making this video, but how, I don't know how you could beat Kuma. Like, he's that powerful. I feel like he'd probably just suicide bomb Kuma. So, he's the kind of character that whether he wins or loses, he, he's gonna end up taking out somebody like Kuma. Probably, but honestly, who, he, who, else can, who else there can beat Kuma? No one. <laughs> no one, Basically. Really. Yeah. So, he'd take out Kuma, but he would die, and he'd probably have to steal with eye bottom. Bomb him. So, he, so, so I, guess, I guess both parties lose there. And then, I'd say if... Itachi's a pretty strong contender. I didn't really... Yeah, it's really at that point, it's Hidan, Nagato, Kakadu, and Itachi versus who? Versus... versus... Mihawk. Um... And um, yeah, versus Mihawk. Do Flamingo. Dofi. Ah, uh, it's Dofi. We haven't even talked about <laughs> Dofi yet. The so, Reds are good. We did uh, Crocodile. And um, Croco. And uh, Jim Be Jim Bay and Mori and Hancock were taken out by the uh, members of the uh, Akaski. Akaski. I think. I think. I think Itachi would probably be able to take out Crocodile because. Cro yeah, Crocodile mind you, we're giving him Genjutsu, so he can do things like Tsukuyomi. 
Yeah, he could do the the Suki Sukiomi and yeah. stuff like that. So we we saw a crocodile. He's but then again, the, the the disadvantage of Tachi is that it doesn't. He is very thick. Oh yeah, he's also sick. But we've seen Tachi. Yeah. Um, do a lot, even when. Yeah, thick. he's he's done a lot, even when he has been yeah. sick. They can bring so, him, probably take him out. My argument to this would be, um, Tachi would be able to bring out would be able to bring down Crocodile because Crocodile, he's not really that good for hand-to-hand -hand combat and nah. that's what Itachi does. Like, even when Crocodile fought Luffy, he wasn't, he was taking most of the blows because he was a Logia type and he wasn't. Yeah, he, he, he abused his Logia and because we're giving them the ability to hit him. Definitely, Crocodile would get taken out by Itachi. But, then the fact that if he lands... Itachi dead. So if he can if he can absorb the moisture in Itachi's body, that would be an instant takeout. Yeah, that'd definitely be an Itachi, instant. Itachi's takeout. already thick. I mean, water is <laughs> one of the things to help you not be thick. If I'd say, and I'm if, pretty sure you need to be hydrated in your chakra. I would assume. I mean, chakra has been really heavily implied to be a lot like stamina. Yeah. If, if Itachi would be able to. Finish a crocodile in one blow, um, and <laughs> that's saying a lot <laughs> because yeah. he also has hockey. I'd I'd assume. Yeah, um, I th I think crocodile has hockey. Yeah, does crocodile have hockey? I think he does. I think he cut Akainu once during the war, but I could be remembering that wrong. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment. But, uh, yeah, I, I give he... it. I give that to Itachi. Um. Yeah, I'd give that to Itachi, because I'd, okay. I'd say he'd win. Uh, it's really weird. It's one of those situations where another character beat him, yeah. and, and, and it's like that. And before we continue, just before anyone, before we talk about who wins it, mind you, Biakaki started off with a stronger roster than the Warlord. If we were using a main, if I were to make, if they were like all the strongest Warlords, if like people like Law were on here, that would drastically change things. Well, these are the original ones, so some of them were, you know, ones that Luffy fought earlier on, so they weren't that as overpowered. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'd say, like, Luffy beat Crocodile without even having Gear 2nd yet. Yeah, I mean, so, that was way back. That, that says kind of a lot. Yeah. Um, so I think Itachi would definitely be able to take out So let's Crocodile. talk about Dofu. So, I feel <laughs> like, I feel like the way that would work in during it now 4 on 2, it would be... Doflamingo would have to handle Itachi and Kakazu if he wanted to win this. Yeah, definitely. With um, all the honest, I think he could do. I think he could probably handle both of them. That, he can um, make clones. He can be, in fact, you know what he would probably do? Doflamingo would control Kaku. He never did this in, a, in the theory because it would have been too broken, but he can do it. He would have control, he would control it, Kakazu and make him attack Itachi. Using a That's... puppet technique, and then Itachi would have to kill Kakuzu. But Kakuzu also has his other hearts too, so. It... True, but Doflamingo can control multiple multiple people at once. And you remember, he can control he, when, when he attacked Dirk Rocha, he controlled all the people, all the soldiers, and made all the soldiers of the army kill people. Doflamingo is a hard thing because he also has Bird King. Yeah, Birdcage. <laughs> when I think I think the first thing he would do would be activate Birdcage in that fight. Activate Birdcage. Just... Because that would eliminate the this way nobody could escape, and this way anybody, anybody was flying into the air would be cut if they flew too high. Definitely. That would actually the second he thought Kodan could fly, he would use Birdcage. So mm. Birdcage is already in effect. <sighs> I feel That's... like he would just use either he would it would go two ways. He would eat, I'm still, I'm, I'm still making him realize, and Dolphin Lingo is incredibly intelligent. That's, that's the same with One Piece, the villains are always very smart, because they're smarter than Luffy. So, I feel like Dolphin Lingo would realize that Tatsu was like the second strongest person there. And he would, you, and make a ta make a ta make a Kakadu attack him. So, Itachi would have to defend himself by killing him. Which, I think we can all agree he could do. He's messing up. If I, 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 can, I can edit those things out. But I would say that I feel like Dofi would probably control Kakazu and just make him 
randomly attack Itachi. Yeah, Doflamingo is definitely incredible game changer. Yeah, Dofl yeah, because Doflamingo can control people like Puppet. And I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys, but only reason he didn't do this in the theory was because, of course, you, you, how pissed would Bethans have been if Luffy had to, like, if Luffy had to end up beating the crap out of Law? Like, that, it, would, it wouldn't work in the context of the actual theory. It's too broken. And, and he also has his awakening. And so true. Wick can Wick Wick would probably be out. He not gonna be taken out, honestly. Yeah. So. <laughs> so think, you think you think he could take and you think he could take out uh Kakazu, and Itachi? He'd probably take out Kakazu. And then and... that so could he take out Itachi? Hmm. Remember, it's, it's Dolphin Mihawk can regenerate. Right? Even if Mihawk can cut him, he can repair his organ with his devil fruit. Which is. Doflamingo is so broken. He really is. It's incredible. <laughs> and he's great clothes made of string. Uh, I think Doflamingo could probably take out Itachi and, um... Hidon. Hidon. Uh, especially since I, the Susano would play a bigger part in things, especially if Itachi had... A complete Susano, but he doesn't. Well, wait, so, if you actually do want to know what that would look like, he does have one in uh, Storm Four. Yeah, he does. Though. But that's not. And the canon off theory of that we're not going to use it, obviously. But I will say, if you want to debate that canon, you can. Please don't. I knew we know <laughs> just because Kishimoto grew it doesn't mean it's canon. That just means he drew something from a fan. Yeah, definitely. Like, chill, guy. Chill. We know he, we know he's done it in video game, but that's a video game. So I think a, I think Awakening could probably take out Itachi and yeah. The, 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 the thing with Awakening is he can like create giant spike strings that will ram you through the gut and like we didn't really see it because it's a shonen, but they pierce you through the chest and kill you. Definitely. So. The only ones really left on the Katsuki would be uh, Nagato and I think only Nagato. Well, well, honest. no, but what do you think Hidan would be would be taken out eventually? Hidan would eventually probably be taken out by who? Um, I'd say Doflamingo. Yeah, Doflamingo can probably. Do, I I don't think Doflamingo can take out Nagato though. No, I don't. I don't think so, especially because he has like Rini Tensei. He could probably like absorb his soul, and just like yeah, I mean stop him. Yeah, the, the thing with Doflamingo is Doflamingo is really powerful, but when he but when he starts getting it, he's not he's not good at getting it ass kicked. No, he he can't handle it. Yeah, he just starts making bad decisions and such. Yeah. So, I I honestly feel the heat on and Doflamingo kind of handle each other. Like, in all honesty, like I feel like Doflamingo would take him out, but I feel like he'd be so he'd be he wouldn't be able to fight at that point. And he would have been fighting so many people. Yeah, I think. But, I, I, actually, I don't think Hidan would be able to take on Doflamingo because I don't think so either. I think he would win, but I think Hidan would in in the project of fighting him just tie, just make Doflamingo unable to fight anymore. Yeah, he'd definitely do some damage. No, and just because you have to realize, in that situation, he would have already fought Ka Itachi. Uchi, he would have already fought Itachi and then been fighting Hidan. True. I mean, this guy going to be done after this. Like, whole dude's a serious damage, but uh, the, the, he's going to get worn out. So, yeah, I'd say... It really goes good. down to Hawk Dracula Mihawk versus Nagato. <laughs> Oh man! Whoever wins um, that, they're pretty much the winning group. I. Hmm. I think the real question is: Can, can Mihawk handle? Can Can, can Mihawk handle some of, some of the really OP abilities of the Sith Path? It's hard to say because we've never seen Mihawk at one hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, don't say something stupid like he get a rip Mihawk sword out of his hand. <laughs> Mihawk has enough physical strength 
to cut <laughs> a gigantic iceberg. You have to realize the, the, that the slashing that you would know, the chakras aren't a power. Not many people don't understand it. That is because, that is that because they have, their muscles are their muscles. It's muscle based. They're so physically strong they can swing their sword hard enough to do that. So if Mihawk is strong enough to swing his arm so hard it cuts them create the shockwave and cut the giant iceberg in half, I think he can uh, he has a really tight grip on that sword. They're like I I, I, don't, I don't think he can just be like paying Nagato can be like universal pull. Oh, no more sword, bitch. Like, no, it's not happening. Stop it. That's not funny. So, it really comes down to can Junior think he could cut new, uh, a uh, planetary devastation? I definitely think he could probably cut through a planetary devastation. And that but is undebatably the Could he stronger. cut through three planetary devastation stacks on top of each other. Can, can Nagato do that? Nagato's strong. He's no Madara. Yeah, he's no, he's no Madara. I think he could probably do two. Maybe did, not three. Did he do two? I... Actually... He he did a lot, actually. No. How, did he make one when he was fighting Naruto? Or did he make two? But, uh, I'm not sure, but... Uh, I'm he not probably sure. cut through a planetary devastation I mean, or two. No, he only made one in a fight with Naruto. He could probably cut through a planetary devastation or two. But yeah. I mean, you have to realize the planetary devastation. You have to all the realize Mihawk is incredibly fast. And, yeah. has, and has amazing observation hockey. So it really has to be a very close battle because they have a lot of things in common. Like they both have great per precision. Like they can both see very well. This battle is hard, but hmm. there's not one ability that Nagato has that's really overpowered. Yeah, there is one person. thing. There is one thing. He has a machine gun built into his arm. <laughs> and mind you, well, 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 I'm sure Mihawk can handle a gun. Yeah, I'm pretty well, sure. But, I, but, no, but One Piece doesn't really have machine gun. No. Or cannon. Well, they had cannon, but you know what I mean. Hmm, it's hard to say, this this fight right here. It really has to do with, do you think Mihawk, I think, I think Mihawk could avoid uh, Nagato's little cannon. I think, I think a, a almighty push could probably block a shockwave, to be honest. Oh, uh, that, that, you definitely block it, yeah. Um. Hmm. It's really hard to say. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think the thing it would, I think the real question is, would Mihawk try? Does Mihawk need to try against him? I definitely say so. Yeah. So, I feel like Mihawk is legit. I'm going to come on. Spectre is a little bit speculation territory, but all the base, but, you know, it's educated speculation, I guess you could say. If he's trying, if Mihawk is trying, I think he could cut through Almighty Butt. Definitely. Because he when he, probably when he broke the iceberg at Marine Ford, uh, now I'm able to understand this, but that was um that was one arm. <laughs> if he put two hands on his swords, um I think no, you know he knew that was a two arms going. Never mind, but it was still very casual. I think that he'd have to try. He Definitely. would. He would, yeah, um, this would be a very close fight. Like, we don't, we're not saying Mihawk could win easily. It's just, Mihawk, it just, his feats that he does display are incredible feats. And he's never actually tried. That's what makes him overpowered. He's never tried even once. Um, he went I through think... an entire, he went to war. Even Nagato, if he fought, like, oh, this is the thing. Okay, Nagato powerful, but if he went to fight, like, Akashi and Sakura at once, he, one of them would still be able to land a blow on him. Can we agree on that? Definitely. But it's like, we're talking, uh, and the, neither one of them is nearly as strong as Naruto in safe mode, correct? Yeah. The point, the, the, the thing here is that Mihawk went into the war with that, with, a, with some of the top people in the One Piece world, and left without getting a scrape on him. And he, without he, even trying yeah, to. Yeah, he, he fought the Whitebeard Pirate's strongest swordman, and was like, okay, whatever. 
I mean, be honest, I, 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 I don't think Nagato can I handle I don't this. think Nagato can handle Mihawk. I know. No. No, Nagato loses. So, in the end, the uh, Warlord win, I think we can say? Yeah, definitely. In the end, because... Okay, I think we should just explain something. But the thing with the Warlord is that... Uh, the way it seems they were set up was... There were Warlords that were made for Luffy to fight early in the series. Alright? Yeah. Like, really, really early. While the Akatsuki were all pretty much made to be fought by the high rust, like the Jody and stuff, in Part 2. Like, there was never a situation where you were going to be seeing Naruto as a kit in Part 1 pre time gift fighting Itachi. That was never, none of that was never going to happen. But there's also the thing of, uh... <laughs> There was people in part two um, who Naruto did fight early on or were taken out by other people who weren't as strong, like uh, Sasori and Sakura. You know, or... but even, even then, it's like Sakura is incredibly. Sakura is still meant to fight like later on characters. A lot of the warlords, you have to understand, were originally designed to be opponents for Luffy very early in the story. While a character like Sasori, so it's like. It's like kind of that. It's kind of like saying, like Luffy early in the series versus like Sasuke in the beginning of part two. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like these are the Akatsuki were all made to be fight by cat fought by these characters when they were more developed in power when they were a lot stronger. A lot of the, these uh, uh, warlords were meant to be fought by Luffy when he was a lot weaker. So they're, they're just weaker because they're meant to be weak. Like, they don't have a natural strength. Like, that's the difference here. So, they're not weak characters. They just weren't designed to fight people. Like, you know. Like, like a high up, like a high tier. They're not high tier characters in this thing. But the further you get the item theory, the stronger the warlord would get. That is why, like, Doflamingo can take out, like, two of them. And they also have a wider... A, like range of abilities on <laughs> the warlord side. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like this. We get in the in the Akaki, they have very similar abilities, just different specialties. Yeah. So yeah, we I think the warlord would win. If you disagree, tell us why. We hope this t was a decent debate. <laughs> uh, we. If you have. Yeah. If tell you have anybody who you thought we should have included, yeah, tell uh, us in the comments. Feel free. And note that, of course, we're not we're not talking about overall. Like we, we, we I consider doing just all the Warlord versus all the Akaki members. This video is already forty three minutes, and I can't really edit anything out. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry. No, that would have been way too long. It would have been like two hours. So we hope you enjoy. Check out Oblivion's channel. Link will be in the description box down below. Subscribe for more videos if you enjoyed this. Like the video if you enjoyed. Have a great day. Any last words? Uh, nothing. Uh, just check out OPN's channel. He makes a lot of good stuff. And see you guys. See you guys later. Peace.